Hi, Toby. Want some coffee? and welcome to a new video. So today I want to share about some of the compatible capsules for my Nespresso original line machine. So if you're curious about which one of these are good, which one are bad, which are tasteless, uh, keep watching. We'll start this review from worst to best. Okay, let's first talk about Tori. So the packaging is really cheap. It just has an aluminum film that it's on top and bottom, and then the capsule has like a rubberized um, outer layer. And um, I believe that because of the packaging, the coffee fails. So this, it's not fresh. When I brew a cup of coffee, I like to smell. This one doesn't give me anything. Uh, besides that, I believe that the com coffee is not compressed enough as an espresso original capsule, and there's a lot of air inside, and you can even hear the coffee beans, I mean, dancing, dancing inside. So because of that, the coffee that brews, it's tasteless. It tastes like mud. It's not fresh. I would not repurchase this. I will definitely finish them, but I will not be repurchasing. I usually have to brew three to just get a cup of coffee. And uh, it's not a good experience. It's, it's, not, it's not worth it. A few weeks ago, I did a short video on YouTube showing you recyclable capsules. So, yay, Movan Peak has developed a unique capsule that is made out of paper. So, I love, love, love this. It's, the capsule looks so pretty. It's uh, recyclable, it's biodegradable, so they get a lot of points for that. But I have about five flavors, and my favorite are the... I believe it's this one, the purple cap, and also this one that I finished, and it's the yellow one, it's the Lungo. Somehow I, they make better Lungos than Espressos. Unfortunately, the taste is not there, so... Hi, Toby. Hi! Do you want some coffee? Mm. If you live in a humid environment like me, you live in a tropical country, there's humidity in the air and the coffee inside will, will not last. It, I can see it sticking to the paper. So I've watched a few YouTube videos about these capsules and how great they are. They have a lot of flavors if you can find them. I can't find them in where I live. This one was uh, bought to me by a friend who visited Singapore. So I was excited to try it. The coffee comes off really watery. So it's even though it's an aluminum capsule, the capsule is good quality. I believe the coffee is not because it comes out very watery and it lacks flavor. So this is the intensity number 10 and I would imagine that for such a high intensity the coffee should be thicker, foamier, but I'm not getting any of that. Out of all the coffees that I've tried from Sega Fredo, you can see I have the black, the Ristretto capsule, I have this uh, Intenso number 12, number 11 I think, and number 8. These are my favorites and they are as good as Nespresso coffee. Here are all the different colors. The only one that I haven't tried is the red one. I believe the capsule has a great quality, it's fully made from aluminum and it's um, the, it brews beautifully, it has a thick um, crema and all of these are more towards dark roasted so if you like dark roasted coffee like me, if you're a fan of the Nespresso Italian range, you would love, love, love the Sega Fredo uh, capsules. I think their pricing is also similar to the Nespresso so they are interchangeable and um, yeah, these are the ones that I use the most. You can see that I, I keep rebuying different flavors just to try them. Besides that, I also like the Lavazza. Their coffee is great. So uh, I recently walked through a mall and there was they were giving out samples of Lavazza coffee and I thought, hey, I never tried this. Like, since I like Sega Fredo, maybe I would like Lavazza as well. I know their instant coffee is really popular. Um, so I was intrigued to try it. So I've tried a few different variations, but this one was my favorite. It's the number 10, the uh, Espresso de Siso. 
um, yeah, I'm not surprised I like it. It has Central American beans, uh, Brazilian Arabicas, enhanced uh, by oriental hint, hints of cocoa and wood, yields a coffee with an intense velvety flavor, exactly what I like. Um, the only problem is that the capsule is, it does, it looks a bit cheap, but it somehow giving you that thick and rich coffee that uh, an espresso should be like that's what we all want from our espresso machines you want a thick espresso style coffee thanks for watching remember to subscribe if you want to see more coffee reviews and more coffee videos and see you again bye